Now let's write the electronic configuration of rubidium atoms and give all the quantum numbers of the outermost electron that was ejected in that photoelectron spectroscopy experiment. So when you're writing electronic configurations, you need to know the total number of electrons. And in a neutral atom, the total number of electrons is equal to the positive charges, the number of neutrons, the atomic number of the atom. Rubidium, atomic number 37, 37 protons in its nucleus. It has 37 electrons in its neutral state. Now, we're going to take all the possible orbitals, and we're going to write them out in kind of a diagrammatic way here. Remember, as you add electrons, the energy levels of the orbitals shift around a bit. So there's a little device you can use to remember the actual order which energy level is the highest. So you write them all out like this. The 1s, the 2s, all the 3s, all the 4s, all the 5s, and you can keep going, 6s, etc. We won't need that many orbitals for rubidium. And then you make diagonal lines. This is the order that the electrons fill in. It's the energy ordering of orbitals when there are many electrons present. So 1s is the first orbital to fill, then 2s, and you keep writing diagonal lines, then the 2p, then the 3s. That's obvious. That just goes by principal quantum level. Then the 3p, then the 4s, then the 3d, then the 4p, then the 5s. And that would continue. You would do 4d, 5p, 6s. So this little device with the straight lines for the principal quantum level and the diagonal lines for filling helps you remember how to fill orbital shells. So now all we have to do is go through that and count up to 37 electrons. So we can do that. 1s is the first orbital we'll fill, and the 1s will hold two electrons. So 1s2. We can keep total electron count, so when, remember when we get to 37. So, so far we have two electrons. Next we'll fill the 2s. It also holds two, bringing our count to four. Then we fill the 2p and the 3s. The 2p holds six electrons. Remember, three equivalent p orbitals, each holding two electrons is six. Brings our total count to 10. Then the three, or 3s will fill with its two, bringing our count to 12. The 3p and the 4s will fill. 3p holds six. The 4s holds two, 20 total electrons. Now, rather than fill the 4p, we're going to fill the 3d next. The 3d fills d orbitals, five equivalent orbitals, two electrons each, 10 possible electrons in the 3d, brings our count to 30. Then the 4p accommodates six electrons. Then the 5s can accommodate two, but we're already up to 36. All we need is 37, so we'll put one electron and come to full electron configuration of rubidium in its neutral ground state of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s1. <laughs> Quite a mouthful of electronic configuration. What are the quantum numbers for that outermost electron? Well, the quantum numbers we generally write as n, l, m sub l, and m sub s. So n for the outermost electron is 5. It's in the fifth principal quantum level. So 5. L is 0 because it's an s orbital. Remember, the designation for l equals 0 is s. So we'll change that s to a 0 for l. m sub l will be 0 because that's the only possible value of m sub l for l equals 0. And m sub s can either be plus 1 half or minus 1 half, depending on how that electron was filled. Rubidium will be paramagnetic. It has one unpaired electron. It can either be in the plus 1 half or the minus 1 half state. So there are our electronic configuration and our quantum numbers for the outermost electron for rubidium atoms.